Here is the Mercedes Euclid model 29 with the casing removed. I've done that to show you the mechanism. To remove the casing you first take off the two uh, clearing handles and then the, the cover of the carriage comes off with a few screws. The cover on the right hand side of the casing comes off with a couple of screws. Then the rear comes off uh, by itself. Remove this, again a few screws. To take this part of the cover off you do need to remove the carriage uh, shift uh, button. You can leave these button tops on here because you can tell this, uh, get this from underneath. On this side you do have to remove the division uh, button top and uh, yeah again the side removes uh, just by taking out four screws. And what you're left with is this bare calculator and inside you can now see the mechanism. It has a set of ten uh, parallel tooth tracks and uh, yeah they, those are connected together on one uh, lever and on this side there's a, there's a piston that pulls that lever and that lever is uh, hinged so that it moves like that so the bottom rack moves out uh, nine units and the top rack doesn't move at all so let's, uh, let's see that in action Okay, so these uh, columns of keys, they control these gears that are on uh, an axle. There are five little gears and uh, each one rests between two racks. The bottom one ra rests between rack eight and nine and if you press uh, the nine button it moves down to engage with that rack. But if you press the eight button it moves up to engage with rack number eight. And the same goes for the next uh, the next gear for six and seven. Seven and six, and uh, this one is uh, four and five, and for two and three, and the top uh, gear that uh, is either engaged with uh, rack zero or with rack one. But if you press another button, it rests in between. So if I uh, press, say, 6, so that, that gear is now engaged with rack number 6, and it now turns that axle as the racks go underneath it. It turns it by 6 units forwards and back, backwards. And as the register only turns one way, it just adds six. And when the rack move ba moves backwards is uh, when the carries are performed. What happens when you subtract is that the uh, proportional racks move uh, differently. The lever they're connected to is now uh, pivoted at its other end so that it moves out that way and the top rack is going to be the one that moves the furthest. So let me show you that. As you can see, all these other columns where there's no keyboard, there's still an axle with a little wheel at the top. And that's, those wheels are on rack zero, so that when you subtract, they actually are going to add nine, the complement of zero. 
at the other end here there's also an extra axle that's connected up to this uh, invisible digit as it were and uh, yeah so that's that one also uh, rotates and it actually causes a carry to be performed so that's an extra one is added to the register because uh, subtracting is first taking the complement the digit wise complement of the number then adding one so uh, yeah that's that's really all there is to it so uh, that's the uh, proportional lever mechanism Thank you for watching.